Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rome 2 extravaganza for you today and we have a glorious 4v4 siege here as we do have, um, yeah, Carthage under siege but I don't see Carthage present on the defending side uh, but they are very much here on the attacking side. Here to maybe reclaim their city? I don't know what they're doing but uh, they are allying with one of their rivals, Rome. And yeah, they are going to try and retake their city, I guess. And uh, on the defense here today, we do have Seleucids, we have Colchis, we have Swaby, and we have Nabateas. Some pretty strong factions and some not so strong ones. I would say Colchis is one of the strong factions um, and Nabatea is sort of middling. But yeah, some good factions still and uh, can cause a few upsets. We've got a lot of camels here for the Seleucids. They're getting ready to sally out. Uh, in some form or another. As uh, we're aware on the attack, we do have Rome, we do also have uh, Carthage and uh, Seleucids on this side as well, and Arvernes. We've got some big hitter factions here on the attack, and uh, yeah, it'll be exciting to see how these guys do as they are already knocking down their walls, you know, making sure that uh, they've got plenty of ways into the city of Carthage here, which is a magnificent looking map, it really is. I mean, we'll just have a quick look. I mean, we'll get rid of the herd and all the stuff. I mean, look at this map, it's great. It's one of the best looking maps for sure around. I mean, you've got the uh, very unique harbor over there uh, of uh, Carthage, the sort of like the circular harbor, looking glorious, sending the warships out to fight Rome. Uh, but yes, it does look like uh, Navitae is going to be sallying out in today's uh, siege battle. They're going to be sending out some Navitae swords. Whether that's just to, you know, force back Rome or to try and bait some, uh, some cav or some infantry to come and fight here so he can then maybe use the walls and his allies' archers here, the Kimberly Bow women, to sort of help support him in that sort of fight. We will see. But yes, if you want to see more Rome 2 action on the channel and are enjoying this sort of content, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel. And if you want to send in any of your own Rome 2 or any generally to Total War replays, do send them in to my Discord. The link is down below in the description. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, the Romans are getting ready to go in. And we'll see. Where are they going first? Looks like they're going to be sending in some vigilates first. Looks like maybe going in through this uh, breach point here. We will see. Oh, they're going to actually know they're going to mount up and Everyone. knock another one down. I don't think they can knock the same wall down next to it. Well, there has to be another one. I know that kind of like sometimes you can't knock down consecutive wall pieces. It's sort of like bug for Rome too. Not really an issue. I don't think it's an issue. Uh, Necessary in other total wars, but it's certainly a thing in like Rome 2. I don't think Attila has the same issue. I don't actually know if Attila has tortoises. I think it does. Oh, sorry, Attila has tortoises. No, no, I don't know if. Um, obviously, Rome 2 does. Very much so. Yeah, it looks like uh, Arverni is going to be the first into the city. He's sending his levy freeman in now. He's going to. Uh, looks like he's going to send them up against uh, his club levy here. And I mean, there's a battle of the craps there on crap barbarian units. I mean, the club levy will get up the HUD here so you guys can see stats and how many kills things have got. But yeah, club levy, 20 melee attack. Levy for even 12. So both sides going in with pretty low uh, quality troops to start with. Uh, just to see, you know, who's going to give in uh, first set in more elite troops to be baited and shot at by archers. Um, but yes, uh, we do have a very, very close siege battle here. This one I was, uh, it's been said in by uh, Rabbit, who was, I think, playing as the Swoby player. He was saying that this battle was really, really close. Rabbit has sent in quite a few replays before in the past, and often they are super, super close. And uh, yeah, so when he says it's close, it's definitely worth sticking around to uh, see how this one goes. Definitely get yourselves some snacks and some drinks and prepare for a glorious siege. There you go, Club Levy getting some jabbies off, weakening up the Levy Freeman. And in they go, another jabby volley. And the barbarians clash inside the walls of Carthage. I mean, to Rome, everyone's a, a barbarian, but these are true barbarians, these guys. No, no sort of civilization. And there you go, Bloodsworn getting in there, getting stuck in against Hestadi. It looks like Rome's bringing a bit of a mix of uh, Hestadi and sort of more like legionaries, like bringing Republicans and also a lot more like Imperial type troops. Oh, I should really call them like pre-Marian and Marian, shouldn't I? Yeah, there you go, Hillman going in as well. They're, they're losing to Club Levy. I think Hillman, yeah, they're actually somehow, Club Levy are technically, I think, worse than Hillman. 
So I'm not sure really how they're losing that fight, but they are. And there you go, all the club level getting in here. I mean, they only have to de delay the, uh, the attack because at the end of the day, the defenders can always just play for time. I don't think they are going to in this one, but they can play for time to try and run down the timer and try and get a draw, which I take is a, a defender victory. Um, but it looks like the club over here, yeah, just kind of just trying to slow down the attackers uh, through these breach points here. The attackers aren't using any of the breach points either at the moment. They're not going in against the thorax here. Carthage has actually decided to shirk away from that responsibility and is actually sending forces towards uh, Swaby instead. By the looks of it, he's going to go over there with his uh, Italian swords and the Samanites. Sadi are uh, starting a struggle and die in that, in that choke point there. Looks like Bloodsword and uh, Club Levy are just cycling in and out, trying to get that charge bonus. Bloodsword already up 188 kills, and they still have about half their strength as well. Incredible stuff. That is going to be a very, very effective strategy, it seems, for the Swaby in these early stages of the game. I mean, certainly charging as like Levy Freeman and Celtic Warriors are the light stuff. That's a very easy way to get some good kills. There you go, the, ta uh, the walls are collapsing while the uh, camera is shaking so much. And I imagine that's done damage to uh, other sword units. We actually have sword masters already in here. I imagine that's done damage to the units fighting in the breach point here. That wall collapsing. Sword masters having lost uh, like 40 men and taking 40... Uh, taking, uh, getting 40 kills is what I meant to say. I don't think that is uh, from, uh, from just the battle itself. It's definitely from, uh, from that wall collapsing. Yeah, we're going to get... Rome is still struggling on. I mean, these are just like early units going in. That they're, they're you know, they're just to weaken up the defenders. The real work's going to get done back here by like Avocado Cohort. We've got Praetorians as well. Lots of like Thorax still to go in, and we've Oswan as well. So they've got nasty stuff of the attack still to throw in. And it looks like actually uh, Seleucus is falling back. He's got a little trap set up here. He wants the attackers to attack this hill, and so he can flank by looks of it with his Thorax here. But now that's a bit of a risk because as you can see already. Um, the Celtic Warriors here are uh, breaking through and they could flank the Thorax themselves unless someone goes down and blocks that uh, avenue off. But it looks like Swaby is giving up. He's like, I've fought my bit, man. I have fought and died in this early uh, stage here at this choke point. I'm not going in any further. And look at this. Rome is pushing in a siege tower into the city. I've never seen this before in a Rome 2 siege. But what a strategy. I mean, I don't know really what, how it's going to play off. I don't think it's going to do much. Uh, I guess the Scorpion might be still be useful uh, inside the city. That might be what they're thinking, like a mobile artillery piece. But yeah, I would have thought the unit... Actually, I don't know. Most of the unit looks like it's actually on the tower. It's not anything off the tower. So technically, I think they can't knock this unit off it. They might have to use a uh, fire ammo to try and burn this tower down, which, to be honest, I just let the, uh, the arrow towers do. I won't waste other ammo uh, on that. But yeah, that is a strange strategy. I've never seen that before. And I think there we go. I think actually we're going to see. Some, I can hear fire now. Uh, no, they are just firing normal arrows. Still, they're going to fire into the uh, onto the ta onto the tower. But they're not. Instead, they're killing Hasadi with some nice side shots there, which is not too shabby. Uh, so Lucas actually have been able to get their uh, thorax back as well. So that's running! something. And it looks like yeah, Carthage is Carthage is just taking his time. He's he's not that keen to get his city back. It would seem. And now the towers leaving maybe the players like that's ridiculous man you cannot cannot bring a tower inside the city but i never thought of doing it before it's, it's not a bad idea here we go looks like we've got some uh, wooden ass spears set up here these guys are pretty solid and uh, they got some pretty good me uh, melee defense stats and uh 69 and their base morale 70. So these guys hold on for quite a while they're pretty solid a uh, unit hard to kill off they are just a medium spear though One thing that will be a problem is going to be these uh, club levy up here. Yes! They're going to uh, be able to uh, just 
jab into the side of anything down there, then pretty much I just kill anything that goes in. Here we go, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to use his weakened helmet just to, uh, you know, soften up the enemy first. Looks like Easton Spears for the defending Seleucids. I should actually really be uh, referring to them like that, really, the defending Seleucids and the attacking Seleucids. Because I forget this too. But yeah, the defending ones, they are uh, sacrificing some Easton Spearmen. I don't know why both sides are really bothered with like these low-tier units. I never really like see the, the benefit in them, but I guess you have the spare money, spend it. Uh, Thorax now are going to be the next obstacle. Oh, that is going to be too tough, I would imagine, for the Hastadi, the Celtic Warriors, and these uh, Italians. I'm actually going to see Round Shield Swordsman as well going in. Swavy. Swavy's really committing a lot of troops early there. They are getting stuck on in. Keep cutting these boys down, boys. Hack and slash at the attackers. And the Wood Dance Spears holding strong. The tower is now on fire pretty... Uh, it's a 38. It's not actually that bad. Vigilates are being also forced off the tower. And the Wood Dance Spears, I think, are uh, going to clear them out. We'll see. Cool looking unit, that's for sure. Uh, Fighting outside the wall has yet to begin. Navatea with this strategy of just putting all these swords out here, not really working. Uh, the Noble Blood Cavalry is also out here. That's not really doing anything either just yet. Um, but yeah, Rome's not interested at all. I think it's a good idea for Rome and Seleucus not to bother with this uh, like field battle, what it potentially will be, because there's artillery waiting, archers waiting. I really would just want to focus down anything uh, that just kind of comes into sort of range over there. So they've done a good thing, very smart. And now we have Nabatea and Thorax Pikes being sent up by Nabatea. And they are going in to uh, basically stop the rot of this advance from the attackers here. Uh, the Swordmaster's here, now getting stuck in. It's a healthy Swordmaster as well. We'll keep an eye on how many kills that gets. Yeah, a lot of elites going in early here for Swaby. Look at these guys wrestling. They're awesome. Some of the animations are great for them too. Now spears are going back in. They're going to fall back the uh, sword mass. It's probably a smart idea. They got 71 kills, lost 10 men. Not too bad. They want to keep those elites for later in the game when it is just a game of elites because that's usually how it goes. Uh, it looks like one thorax already breaking here. and Hillman now being sent in to, uh, to try and hold on. This thorax, 78, still uh, starting to waver. I think it's a little high for them really to be wavering. Especially against this lower tier sort of quality infantry. But there you go, they're breaking. They're in like a cool little circular formation. Actually, they're not breaking. They're just trying to withdraw them as the player. I don't think they've got a chance of withdrawing. Rome looks like he's uh, managed to somehow get behind these thorax. And they are going to break. And that is a bit of a mistake. I think the center uh, position here is looking really rough for the uh, defenders right now. Uh, Kimbri Bowwomen are also getting focused down, it seems, by uh, enemy archers. Uh, or at least they had been. I think they might have uh, dealt with them themselves. Well, at least I can't see any. Yeah, Navatea and Kolkis really haven't really committed a lot. And to be honest, I've been committing more Kolki and uh, units because I feel like they're weaker and uh, probably less effective than some of the uh, Seleucid units, that's for sure. And probably Swapi as well. Navatea here already gets seven kills in his pikes. I'm imagining we're going to see a lot of Javis come up from all these yeah, kills of warriors. going to just throw their Javis. And this is why I hate that every unit has Javis because it just makes pikes useless. It makes pike factions like... Macedon and a lot of the Greek factions generally, even like yeah, Navatea, just are useless because they don't, they can't use a, you can't use a pike. Your your pikes just get countered by javelins. But yeah, the sway we going back in. It looks like another tower, uh, another part of the wall is going to come down. They still have another 
another Tortoise they're going to try and bring down. 93. Uh, bring that down. Oh, it's done a lot of damage. I think that might kill quite a few Club Levy on the wall here, actually. Um, so that's unfortunate there, but it hasn't done any damage to the Pikes or uh, really the Sword Master there, which is okay. But yeah, this is uh, obviously another ploy to try and get around the flanks of those uh, Pikemen anyway. And we've got uh, Bel Air Slingers here. I think that are going to also maybe try and shoot the Pikes if they can get an angle. Uh, but yeah, Navitae, I mean, if they want to carry on, look at this. You can see the plan that they have the attacks here. They're just going to keep knocking down walls as they go. Um, so yeah, they really need to... I don't know if you can burn them or what. Yeah, but look at the amount of... Art, like, they're just going to knock down every single wall they can if possible. Or the attack is just to keep flanking the defenders. But if anything, I, I don't think the street is worth defending anymore. I'd let them in, maybe. Uh, just so you don't keep uh, committing to this sort of lost cause. Oh, the Thorax bikes here as well, getting focused down by Javis and Slingers. Ah. And with eight kills, this unit, I think, is going to be wasted. And it's an expensive unit, these Thorax bikes. They're pretty decent. And they look great as well. You can hear the Kimberly bow women as well, by the way, just shouting so much. It's getting a little annoying. There you go, Bloodsworn going in. They're going to try and keep holding these guys at this... Uh, at this stairwell. And it's starting to probably get very slippy on that uh, on that uh, stairway as the uh, body starts to mount up and the blood thickens. Yeah, it looks like so. I mean, they seem like they're just going to keep cycle charging. But I don't know how wise an idea that is, but they are doing that. Colchis has got his entire army pretty much lined up down this one road here. Um, and they are not really doing a lot with it. He's got a lot of Hillman as well. He seems to have spammed out Axe units for like uh, Hillman, which are technically like an Axe unit, I'd say. Um, but yeah, and then you've got, I, well, I said this Carly Axe would have seen very few of them. There are some, um, but so I don't really know where his money's gone. I feel like either he's just gone for numbers and just cheap numbers, but because yeah, Colchis doesn't have very many expensive units. Carly Axe is probably one of the more expensive units. I've not seen a lot of them. Interesting moves by uh, by Colchis, that's for sure. And you can see this attack here is starting to have some success for the defenders. They are actually routing multiple units here of uh, Arverni, which is always great to see. If you're room for the uh, defenders, if you're room for the attackers, then, well, that's not so great. Looks like Swaby's uh, replaced the Thorax that Pike, so they might actually be dead. Might have been killed to a man, but yeah. Swaby going in here. They can get flanking shot, though, as you can see, already are getting arrows into the flanks of those sword masters. That is going to affect their capabilities and how long they survive in this choke point fight. And there you go, yeah, the arrows come over. It's probably booked by Carthage. And there you go, both sides retreat as it looks like, yeah, the Thorax is going to come in and try and uh, flank again. But you can see, I think the Swordmasters really want to fall back more because Rome is opening up more breach points. And I don't know why the uh, defenders aren't, you know, maybe contesting these. And maybe you just know, you know, uh, just threatening the vigilates with a, a land fight. But I don't think the attackers want one. Club no! Levy going in. It's a weakened one. It's not going to do a lot, but it's, you know, slowing down. And meaning those sword masters get a bit of time to rest up, which is what they need. Swordmasters again going in, they're going to keep cycling. 94 kills, still got uh, a fairly healthy unit, not doing too bad. And finally, we're seeing the attackers attack over here. Actually, I think the defenders might have come down to uh, be the aggressors. Hillman here being aggressive on some Hastardi. Thorax now going in, it looks like against some uh, Celtic Warriors here of Arverni. I mean, I would just carried on fighting that fight. I feel like the Thorax, you're going to win that. I mean, maybe they're scared of the O-Swarm coming in. If they are, I mean, I'd just bring up some archers, you could do that. I mean, also this breach point being opened here by Carthage is a bit of a concern, I guess. The Carthage is going to pour in troops A. Hey, seems like they haven't got too much left over here that uh, can really go in. And uh, I would have thought Colchis could probably deal with them, but maybe not. Maybe this uh, this plan by Car by Seleucus is just you know to aggravate the Romans and 
the goals here and get them inside the settlement, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it was much of a good plan. Uh, we're going to see Gallic Hunters go up this side of the wall here. I imagine they're going to just shoot over the wall and support any attacks that take place here. Camel spearmen running around. Don't seem like they're actually doing a lot, but they are running around trying to be a pain. Um, yeah, we've still got a Thorax a Pike for the defenders, which is good to see they have still got some more remaining pikes. I can't see any Seleucid pikes. I've um, got more infantry and stuff back here, but yeah, it doesn't seem like they brought any other pikes apart from the Navatean ones. But I would have probably left them to the end, you know, when there was a lot more. Uh, when there's a lot less ammo and uh, a lot more uh, sort of like choke points that you can use without getting outflanked. Looks like we're now going to see Colchis maybe see his first bit of action. Carly Axman are getting set up here. These elite, well, I'd say elite, mid-tier Axemen, really. Not, there's nothing probably much more elite than them in the Axe Department, but they're not that insane when it comes to infantry. They can they can get good kills, especially against lower-tier units like this, though. They will eat them up easily, and there you go, routed that first Arvon unit. Now they're attacking the uh, uh, Seleucid attacker. They've done a bit of work, but I mean, yeah, the Thorax uh, swords, actually, yeah, they're wavering already. Wow, very nice. I mean, maybe these axes, I don't I mean, they have 43 melee attack. That's better than the Thorax. Their armor is the same as the Thorax. They might match them to a certain extent. That's why I feel like Thorax deserve to be a heavy infantry, not very heavy. They don't deserve the title of being a very heavy infantry. They're nowhere near as heavy and as impressive as some of the uh, other like elite heavy units, like the uh, O-Swarm or the Praetorians, or even just any of the like generic legionaries, the loose of those as well. Now the offensive is getting underway over here, Carly, uh, I'm sorry, um, Colchis is getting stuck in in uh, another street fight, it looks like uh, Thorax Source is trying to help out Javi where they can, Javi some poor Romans, they're trying to sneak up onto the wall. Don't try and pull through Rome. You're already overpowered. Don't try and pull through. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, units going in now. Samnites now coming in here. Looks like those hillmen have had enough. It's going to be the job of the Thorax to hold that street for a little bit longer. Whether they... I mean, they've knocked down so many of these walls. Whether they could put archers up here, um, Swaby, and just start to shoot into... Uh, the fight down below. It's a potential option, of, I feel like, maybe. Uh, I mean, the archers right now are busy shooting elsewhere for the attackers, but they also could, uh, I guess, focus on any bow women if they wanted to. This is not looking good. Like I said, the center is not looking good. Rome has committed some elites that, well, I say elites, but better trained troops are ever Cardi being thrown in. And we have Swordmasters trying to hold them back. And some, uh, well, I say I was about to say Anza to Lucas, but they've just retreated. The banner of Rome being waved in our faces there. Rome just reminding us who's in charge. Centurion here dueling with the Barbarian. Here to avenge Chukabo Forest, maybe. Uh, Rome has definitely just pulled through there, though, to try and get to that fight. Definitely try, uh, pull th or attempted to pull through. That's going to hurt those sword masters. Which is what it does. I feel like in, uh, pulling through in Rome 2 actually doesn't affect your units, it affects the opponent's units a lot more. At least that's what I feel when I see it happen. There you go. I mean, Nevercardi are losing. Slightly, I think that is from pulling through a little bit. We're getting flanked by some uh, bow women, and we're going to see more Carly Axemen set up here as well. They're going to start uh, throwing their javies in and try and slow down these Romans. And yeah, the Bloodsworn as well trying to do their bit. I think the uh, yeah, sword masses are breaking. I think that's because they got pulled through rather than anything else. I mean, Bloodsworn. Only like the, the charge will do great against Romans, but in prolonged melee, these guys will not do so great. They are light melee infantry. Some 
Gallic Hunter's already in combat for Arverni as well, so that's not a good sign that the uh, defenders already, uh, sorry, the attackers are already using up all of their ammo. Not good at all. Balance of power looking fairly even now, maybe ever so slightly in favor of the attackers. Thorax here, they're uh, starting to waver and they will probably break. I think that's because of the pressure of Archer Fire as well as infantry here. There's a big blob, I mean, in fairness to the Carthaginians here. Uh, really good targets right now. If they had an artillery piece, this would be great to shoot. So they're going to fall back our uh, Colchis, where they've got some plan for this, because now they've opened up this main highway here for the attackers, and they can come around the back and encircle these forces that are engaging Rome here. They're going to need to put something in the way. Some helmet look like they might get the job, or, in fact, Cartley, Axemen are going to fall back, and it looks like they're going to be allowed to do so unmolested. But yeah, you can see already the defenders are giving up the early stage of the city. And this was getting slightly indefensible. They couldn't hold on here forever. And it looks like, yeah, Nabate is still, you know, persisting with this uh, idea. I mean, I like what he's doing. He's guarding these uh, siege equipment pieces so the attackers can't use them and basically just undo their own defenses. They should really, like, make this larger and try to defend some of these zones. But I guess these ones are in range that, like, Nabate could counter. And it does look like Roman uh, Seleucids. I think they have enough uh, choke points now that they can get inside the city. Uh, speaking about uh, lack of uh, ammo left, there are quite a few of these units that are banged up for the Romans. Like 45 out of 120, 36 out of 120. I mean, the uh, the Roman archers didn't look so great. The, the Persian lights here for the Seleucids are in still decent condition, and the Cretans, uh, I haven't seen any attacks really at all. The Belex thing as those things have been hit a bit. Whether there'll be a sort of a, a battle for overranged units, whether we'll see that in this game, I don't know. It looks like uh, the defenders are spending quite a bit of uh, ammunition on trying to shoot those units down. They are obviously very important, our archers, in a siege battle like this. You want to try and get flanking shots, you want to just try and shoot uh, important things like pikes and probably some other like elite tier units. You want to probably try and shoot them. But yeah, they do a good job. Uh, the defenders, you know, trying to nullify those attackers as archers. But they need to do better. They could do better. He's Levy Spearman here trying to protect the uh, Thorax Pikes. They're yet to take a loss of the Thorax Pikes. But uh, I'm sure it won't be too long until they do. The Archer Fire coming in and the Javis is a bit relentless. And there you go, first one dropping. And then it'll start to become an avalanche of dead, I imagine. All it takes is to weaken the HP a little bit. And then they all start to drop. Levy Spears, you know, doing their job that they need to just delay and protect those pikes. We've already lost over uh, 12 men. So we're going to have another Levy Spearman here that's going to go in and again just do the same job, protect the pikes. Uh, but the pikes are getting an insane amount of attention right now from missiles. This could be good though for late game um, because obviously so much ammo has been expended on these pikes trying to kill them off uh, that they don't have ammo for other things. But the pikes, like I said, could, would have been great for late game as well, I think, because, you know, it, if you have no ammo left at the end of the game and you're facing a pike and you're like, well, what do we do? Kebab ourselves? Quite possibly that is the only option. But yeah, there you go. Those uh, those pikes are in for a long afternoon, that's for sure. But more Carly Axe from the Hillman fighting here against Rome. And Rome and the Samanites of Carthage are going to retreat. What an holy alliance it is with Rome and Carthage fighting together. It should not be allowed. It should be banned. These two nations hate each other. Looks like, yeah, we're gonna, the Carly Axemen aren't going to slow down. They're going to get another charge off. We're not going to charge. These guys do pretty well. This doesn't allow the Romans and the Carthaginians to use their jabbies. 
are far too overpowered as I say are javelins. And everyone has them, which is a big problem. They are gonna, I mean the Kali Axemen, they're, yeah, depleted. And they're fighting a much superior unit. They got the charge, they got the initial sort of like benefits, but now they're prolonged melee, not doing so great. 108, 109 kills, doing okay. That's not a bad result for them, uh, to, be, uh, to be fair. Uh, I think the pikes might all be dead. Can't see them anymore, yeah, I think. Uh, there's a levy spear there. Abitating swords. Levy Spears. Yeah, I can't see the Thorax. I think they might have broken here. Yeah, and Thorax, right, Pike's broken. Uh, uh, 17 kills. Like, between the two units, I don't think they got more than 30 kills. Now, maintain Swords here, though, jabbing away at the Romans. I mean, that's always a bit of a win. If I was the uh, defenders, I'd start getting uh, Archer up on this wall, if you can, potentially. Uh, just to try and you know, be a pest. You could also put a Sword unit you know, up here as well, uh, just to jabby down to then if they did climb up onto the walls of the attackers you could then obviously counter just having your sword unit up there i mean i put some put some like a round shield sword that they have waiting there that would do just fine on the wall evercarty losing it's what you want to see if you're not rooting for rome well carly axon though here getting absolutely crushed by the romans and saluted The Archer Fire coming in now is uh, you know, probably going to help out a little bit. It looks like they're trying to shoot these uh, reserve units here. I mean, I don't know how many more Carly Axemen um, they really have, whether it's... Uh, uh, maybe it's more Carly Axemen than it is Hillman. I feel like I just saw like rank on rank of Hillman, but maybe they're just on this flank here. They've got a couple more Carly Axemen there. I can see another one as well uh, being thrown in there. It looks like, yeah, some more Hillman are being committed. Seems like it is a Hellman Carly Axeman spam. Let's see whether it works. With mean, the Hellman on the charge, maybe get some kills on these Romans, but honestly, these Romans are in a, like another stratosphere of quality. They're insanely good compared to these Hellman. It kind of shows the Romans are going through these guys pretty quickly. So yeah, the Hillmen are going to die. They're going to have an upgrade now are the uh, Colchians and they're going to put in some Carly Axemen. It's probably for the best. Um, I'm not seeing... A, I don't know where really the uh, bending archers are really like based. It seems like they've got some Nabataeans here. Got a few Kimri Bow women. Where they're all starting to run out, run out of ammo, I'm not sure. Um, seems like, yeah, some Syrian heavy archers coming forward here. 126 kills for them. So they might still have ammo. Um, but yeah, it's not like they're dot dotting them around. Oh, we have some Colchian nobles here for the uh, Colchis. So they are bringing some of their elite spears, but only the one. They're not that great, to be fair. So I don't mind them bringing just the one. Rome is actually doing what strategy I suggest. And he's mounting on the wall here, trying to flank it around. And he's now going to fight those round shield swordsmen here on the walls. A battle for the walls. I mean, if anything, this is going to be in benefit of uh, the defenders because the Nabataean heavy archers, they can shoot onto the walls and kill many of those Evercarty. They're just not in, in, in combat. They're at the back of the uh, formation. And even the ones in the side that are, uh, the ones that are in uh, combat, shoot them as well in the side. Just need to be careful of friendly fire. But that Evercardi should be stopped in his tracks there. And it's just another front now they've opened up the attackers. Can they manage that front as well? We'll see. But can the defenders manage it? They're obviously in the more strain. The battle at the front of the walls. That's still going on. And he's fiercer than ever. Navitaire throwing in some of his swords. I don't know if he's taking from his reserve outside the city. If he is, then I would say that the attackers need to take advantage. And maybe make an assault there. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like they have only got the two units out there now to protect it, and uh, they're not really protecting. Um, but actually, they've still got the same line that they, they were originally holding. It looks like uh, yeah, though it looks like Rome isn't going to try anything. Oh, they actually tried to uh, come back inside the city, did Navatea. Navatea sort of flanked around, trying to uh, threaten the Romans that way. That seems like a bit of a suicidal and a bit of a pointless strategy. And uh, yeah, that's just lost uh, Navatea's sword. I don't know if they've lost the second one from trying this as well. Definitely was not the uh, the move, that's for sure. It's lots of dead uh, Italians there. I was wondering what had happened uh, with that patch of infantry just there. Uh, General Bodyguard here. Um, he's definitely probably one to be uh, a, a focused down if he can be. Colchis over here, like I said, this is probably the weakest spot on the uh, defense because it's just a load of hillmen here. And it's also Colchis. I feel like most of these superpowers can break through. Uh, Colchis is not a, a great faction. And like, since he's bringing a bunch of hillmen, I thought these living infantry are going to just eat these guys up. And the Samites as well, they just carve through them. But maybe not. Maybe they're scared of the Hillman. Maybe that's why those uh, living are retreating. They're like, oh crap, the Hillman. We don't want to fight them. All those, all those javies they have, that's too, too scary for us. But actually... I was going to say, now they can if they want to, Carthage, and they are doing just that. They're going uh, to flank uh, Carly over here. Oh, sorry, Colchis. I keep calling them Carly. Uh, if I do call them Carly, you know what I mean, it's Colchis. And they can also flank this position here. So we are going to have to see a bit of a withdrawal soon uh, from the defenders as they keep retreating. Balance power, I'd say, is definitely in favor of the attackers now. They've done a very good job recently of the attackers. They've been slowly grinding away on these defenders. The defenders could do with a uh, general death for the attackers. Probably a Rome or a, uh, I don't know, maybe a Seleucid. One of those to die would be pretty handy right now. More Nabataean swords. Look at this amount of Nabataean swords here. There is an absolute blizzard of javelins going in right now. The Nabataean swords, fresh from the deserts, are about to be attacked by the Romans. Keep up the good fight, lads. Keep up the good fight. Looks like they're doing okay. I mean, these are weakened units. The Navitans are going to have some initial success. Whether that'll last, I don't know. The Romans are running out of men by the looks of it. Setting up their Praetorian Guard now. They've got a couple of Evocati here. They can do some work. Praetorians there. But yeah, then Rome is kind of like nearly spent. He's got another Evocati here and his general. It looks like it's really going to be Carthage and probably so Lucid that have got most of the resources left. Um, Arvidi says most of his O sword. I think he actually hasn't lost a unit yet. Just taking a few casualties. But yeah, he's got one, two, three, four O sword units and then he has his general O sword, so five. Um, so yeah, he's still got a good core infantry there. Similar to really to Rome. Oh, this is not looking good. I mean, is that a, I don't know, Colchian no, uh, nobles there, I guess just chasing the Libyans, trying to get some kills. Uh, but yeah, Rome's general's moving up quite a lot, very aggressively. I was going to say, he's going to get himself shot by archers if he's not careful. It looks like it was uh, Colchis' uh, archers there getting a few volleys off. They do kill him. I mean, it'll do some damage to morale, but I don't think he'll do too much. They really ideally need to get uh, Carthage's general or maybe uh, the Sluice general. Navate, I think, is starting to, starting to uh, tire, starting to 
Saw suffer, as you can see, 85, 68, they are starting to die here. And that is, uh, yeah, not looking good. It's only going to get worse as the Praetorians fall from their purple column here, ready to go in an O-Sworn and Libyan infantry following as well. Yeah, all of these are like medium melee infantry. They go up against very heavy, so it's not, not even a fair fight. They're going to need some uh, some heavier boys of their own in there. We've got some sword masses from, um, from Swaby. It looks like also Swaby's trying to uh, sally out. It looks like he's trying to deal with these Samanites that are looking to maybe knock down some more walls. And yeah, Carthage is doing exactly that. It's, uh, Samanites are going to try and knock down another wall, make another breach. They get unsustainable for Navitator to hold this position, but it doesn't look like they're going to need to uh, knock down the wall. Rome's going to break through anyway. These guys are starting to rout en masse. It looks like the last stand is prepared. Or well, maybe uh, one of the, did they bring another thorax pike? I think they brought another one. This is a fully fresh one. So now they're bringing a, a third pike unit. And they're going to have to try and hold somewhere along this line here. We'll see where they can do it. I mean, we've got sword masses, pikes uh, in defense ready to go. Looks like there's still a couple of thorax here lying around some silver shields. Um, lots of forces for Colchis up here on the, these heights, which they don't really need to be. The cat point is down here um, by this uh, Greek statue or this Phoenician looking statue. They don't really need to stay up here, but I guess maybe they feel like they can uh, be a pest, be a pain to Carthage up here, be a threat. So they are going to kill off these Creed and Archers, which have already got pretty decent kills. But yeah, they're going to lose out in this duel here with the Syrian heavy archers. And look at this, in flows Rome and Arverni. Those pikes are going to go down, they're going to have to go down soon. Down they go. I don't think anyone's going to uh, actually get themselves impaled on it. I mean, there's a little gap in the line here, uh, just to the to the right of the pike. You know, I think Rome's already seen it, and it looks like you might try and go through there. Maybe he hasn't seen, he's just getting his men just some rest, getting them some jabbies, I don't know. Pikes here, yeah, they're already getting focused down by missiles. I don't feel, I feel like they just haven't learned from their lesson. Yeah, just pull the pikes back, let other stuff do the work. Let the archers waste our ammo elsewhere. Um, or like try and kill off their archers with uh, your own ammo. It seems like it's uh, not a, a wise situation. They've already lost two pikes and it's a third one being lost in a similar sort of... Uh, way would be a bit of a way. Brown shield uh, swords going in, immediately losing to O Swarm. There you go, they're going to retreat. Run, flee for your lives. There you go, broken fully. Thorax are going to uh, get themselves in. in in position and they're probably just going to javy the storax i mean 150 now let's wait and see what happens after a javy volley uh, actually maybe they don't have uh do they not have javelins surely they do poor phalanx yeah here we go javi's going in absolutely brutal down to 63 that is disgusting there you go, that's the power of javelins. And that's why you don't bring uh, pikes to this sort of uh, confrontation. You're not going to win it. They're just going to javel you in the face. You need, to use ja uh, you need to use pikes as a last stand sort of situation. I don't think Carthage really actually is a very good map for pikes generally. I've not really seen any good positions where they can really hold them back uh, and use them. Carly Axman going in. Oh, I didn't realize the calves and all the camels, I should say, are in here. They're causing a problem. I don't think they're getting great kills. Yeah, 12, 18, yeah, nothing insane. I don't know really why they brought them. I not know they were really a great use of resources. We have got Colcaean Nobles now going in. Along with the Kali Axeman. The Kali Axeman, I guess, is going to keep charging down, doing as much uh, carnage as possible. The uh, Seleucid player is definitely pulling through with his camels to get to where he is. I think he's trying to get Rome's general. 
the, the camels literally done a seven six men before they routed. Incredible. There you go, flag coming in. Another Cold Cane Noble. They have more than I thought they did then. And then they are now, because of that, outflanking and beating those Thorax swords there off the Seleucids. And they're actually, yeah, you can see they're trying to pull back at the Thorax, maybe trying to surround these uh, Kaliaxmen here. If anything, they just doom themselves with that move. I'll see if I can find uh, one with the. Uh, the fully winged helmets, but yeah, the Colcane no oh, there you go, immediately. Colcane Nobles have these like hollow looking winged helmets, which look very cool. Yeah, they're fighting on a two on a two-way front here against Carthage. It seems these Samanites are on in their front and it looks like they're trying to flank around them with the Libyan infantry here, they're kind of achieving it. They could do with setting up some Kali Axemen just jabbing into the side uh, jabbing into the side of them. East Narches as well can just super side shot these guys get some really good kills. But we'll see. We'll see if they do that. Rome and uh, the rest of its uh, forces over here. The rest of its allies breaking through. They're at the cap point almost. You can put archers up on these little towers. So uh, I wonder whether the defenders will do that. Because use that as a good way to overlook the city. Got noble swords here. The general. Got another pike. Where are they pulling these pike units from? Another pike unit. They brought four. Incredible amount of pikes. I mean, it's probably not going to do anything again, but we'll see. This would be the time to start using them in the last stands like these. When, uh, like, you know, ammo's kind of low. I don't know if it is, but I'm going to imagine it's fairly low. Archers are stretched. That's the other big thing. They're like, look, the Romes are all the way over there. They, I don't know what they're exactly doing. Carthage is bringing his up. He's probably definitely has ammo left. Uh, it doesn't look like Arvani does at all. He's sending his in. And yet, yeah, we'll see. We will see. And it looks like I was looking for the uh, the Colcane fights, and they look like they're nearly over. Samanite swords here, getting surrounded and killed off by Hillman. And also Colcane Nobles. And that is another nice tiny little win there. And uh, Colchis, you know, might be the uh, the last sort of hope for the dependency. They seem to have like a decent healthy force. Warriors, move out! Run, Cassio! Sword masters here cycling Warriors, in and out. Looks like they're gonna be used to freshen up the troops. Again, why are they just leaving these these pikes here just to stand on their own? At least I guess with their not having their pikes out, they uh, you know maybe protect themselves better with those shields. But still, they should not be having these guys out. Just you know, put something else into the sh into the wall first. You know, stand there. The pikes should not be the first guys to stand there because they'll get just shot to pieces by any remaining remaining ammo. Whether that's bows, slings, javies, the lot. And there you go. They are falling back already, losing 30 men. What a waste. I don't think that Navitan player's got us like more than like I said 30 kills. With any of his pikes. Torian's here trying to fall back. Already got 71 kills, having lost 30 men. They're going to lose more if they keep falling back like this in front of those sword masters. And it looks like Swaby's general's going in as well to try and help stop these uh, Oswald pushing forward by the looks of it. Rome's also in, in here fighting Thorax. Fighting hard, lads. Keep fighting hard. Carthage depends on it. And there you go, Praetorians. They've pulled back from their uh, fight against the Swordmasters. They're coming in over here. Maybe they feel like they can have a bit more success. Libyan infantry are sneaking through here. No one's contesting this. Whether well, this is going to be yet the job of Swaby's general. Going to get a jabby volley off. Do a decent amount of damage to those guys as well before going in. Very, very nice.
Navate are fighting on a lot of fronts right now and they don't have the greatest of infantry like their swordsman you can see here yeah, losing the O-Swarm. We have got Thorax as well holding on. Trying to do some uh, something to help out but again they're not going to stop O-Swarm. There isn't a lot that can it seems at the moment available to the defenders. Maybe they are just going to run for time. The quality of infantry cannot defeat the attackers, so maybe time can. There you go, Navatane's breaking. Oswan General, he's uh, only lost seven men, and then he got 60 kills. Looks like Kolk is actually being aggressive here. Look at this, he's reclaimed this outer area over here, and he's now forcing back Carthage. Carthage now having to defend here against a, a rejuvenated Kolkis. Well, it looks like they're going to go onto the walls. They're going to clear out these uh, these archers over here. Are the uh, are the Colchians trying to get around these defences? It's not a bad idea, that's for sure. Uh, Rome's general is hiding, looking for options. While the defenders' generals, they're being absolute chads going in. Silver shield swords moving in. Victorians again though, they've uh, got pulled out of this combat over here and then sent back into the other one. I mean they could just flank, because those will go around the flank if they wanted to. They get a cav here, the general for the attacking uh, Seleucids, you could just go, they could go around the flank with this, uh, this thorax. Just deal, that would deal with the issue so easily. I think, I was going to say, I think the sword masters or the Agema we're potentially going to flank around and, didn't, and halt their advance going into this fight. And now that they've gone in, the Gemma are going to do exactly what the Swoby player thought. They're going to go in, they're going to try and mess up these weak units. They have been stopped. And they're going to go after archers. They still have ammo. There you go. We have. Saluted Civil War, don't they round those guys? They pulled through. I'm not a big fan of that. They pulled through, and I think they're going to try and go down here and go get these archers potentially. And then I think they're going to try and rear charge this force over here, maybe unlock it. I don't know, we'll see. The Gemmage uh, Cab General, though, is doing great work so far. 58 kills. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. The Agama Cab, I mean, he's starting to lose some men. I mean, this is one of the generals that they did think. I did say, oh, if they could kill him, that would be huge. He's certainly given them the opportunity. He's mowed down that uh, Navatean sword. Definitely can go through that uh, unit. He just knocked the entire unit down. Really nicely done. The uh, Agama Cab now, I think he's looking for op uh, options to kill that Navatean archer. It's not an easy uh, angle to come up, like, up that hill, but they will probably be able to give it a good go. But yeah, Colchis needs to get a shuffle on. The uh, other defenders depend on him at this point. Colchis, Nobles and Carly Axman fighting side by side. So we're going to see archers for the uh, defenders going onto the wall as well. Some Syrian archers here. They've already got 154 kills. Can they get more? And they side shot, back shot some of these uh, Carthaginians that are being a, a real pain here. Uh, looks like Swaby might have pulled through. I'm not really sure. Might have pulled through. Oh, noble mercenary noble fighters are falling back in the face of Thorax and Swordmasters. And Carly is through actually because he's uh, able to he's need a fight in this choke point really. He can just sneak through and he can relieve his uh, allies, so that is huge. There you go, go the noble fighters, the general's bodyguard looks like he's going in. The Gemma Cav, they're also, you know, helping around some of these uh, heavy archers. This general needs to probably be uh, put in charge of trying to kill off Seleucid's general. This checkpoint though has fallen for the attackers. It's gonna be a close one. Balance power is dead even at this point again. The defenders are doing a great job and sort of Averaging out the uh, the battle again, we're going to see the uh, noble blood cavalry go in. They're pretty weak down to 39 riders left, but that's similar to the Agama. Um. 
The Gamma Cav being stuck in. I think we are, well, as I said, I think we are going to see a charge from the Noble Bull Carry, but I'm not sure if we are now. They've got one charge off, and they would route this, uh, this Seleucid Union, and that would really tip the balance, I feel like, in favor of the defenders, because there are a lot of Seleucid units left. Most of it's them fighting in most of these front lines, I think. Roll Peltas here, they're fighting against the Pikes. Their Pikes are fighting, doing something, getting 63 kills. Another Royal Peltas here in the uh, in the fight as well. I think Seleucid to my loss is general. No, someone I think has though. Oh, it's Colchis, I think. Yeah, Colchis has lost its general. Yeah, general's recently died for Colchis. That is not good. They have the largest amount of troops left for the defenders with their no general. They are going to see a, a lack of morale that could break any moment. I think Nabate doesn't fancy they're having the same fate. He's going to fall back. I guess maybe try and bait this general in here a little bit. Keep fighting, boys! Keep fighting! It looks like, I think... Actually, no, he's still there. They gave a cab. I was going to say, is he broken yet? He's not yet broken. He's still going on. Noble Sword's getting stuck in there. A little bit of a mess of battle lines here on who's fighting what. But uh, yeah, they, those Noble Swords are going to die pretty quickly. Swordmaster here, they're losing to uh, Royal Peltas. They could do with the Pikes to come up and support them to try and help out that fight. I think Colchis is going to break through here. It's going to it's just taking a bit of time, a bit of effort. But he's looking like he's going to break through. We've got Colchis and Nobles here. They're going to try and silence those auxiliary archers. There you go. Samnite's breaking through. Uh, I think Rome has now got no general as well. So there's another general dead for the uh, in the game. This time on the attacker side. So yeah, there you go. Both sides have lost a uh, general. But Rome has pretty much nothing left bar archers. It's not really the end of the world, and they're actually wavering at the sheer sight of the Colcane nobles chasing them down. I think. I don't know. Bounce power, I'd say, is now ever so slightly maybe in favor of the defenders, but I don't know. It looks very close. The general here for Swaby is just cutting down some Thurio Spears. Should be an easy win for him. Did a two... 244 kills. Actually, he's losing that fight. Maybe it's because of uh, other missile support. I'm not sure. Nabatane, Thorax, Pikes, they're moving forward. Actually got 123 kills. It's not bad for a Pike unit. Good in this day and age where they get counted so easily. Oswan here still pose a real threat. And there you go. I think it's come down to time in the end. And I think the, uh, the Swaby have won it, yeah, off time, rather than actually wiping out the entire enemy army. So there you go. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, it's going to be a defender victory. Uh, Rabbit here with 200 and uh, 2,800 kills um, as the Sway be getting the most kills, I think, for anyone in his team. So well done. Uh, and anyone actually in the whole game. So yeah, well done to him. 252 kills with the uh, Swordmasters here. 237 kills with the Bloodsworn. 124 kills with another one there. Club Levy getting 131 kills, 128 is very good for them. Round Shield Swords, 199. Sword Masters all getting over 200 kills, 236, 283, 251. Then we have Let's Go Busy playing as Colchis. His Archers, 237 kills, 139 with another there. His Colchian Nobles, 132, 231 kills. And then the Carly Axeman, 209 kills. And then he's got, yeah, more Kali Axman down here with 243 kills. And most of them getting into the hundreds. Then we have Beardo playing as Nabatea. 101 kills as uh, Heavy Archers here. Another getting 130 kills. His Swordsman, 117, 130 kills. The Pikes, yeah, really struggled. But the best did get 123 kills. Then we have um, Jay uh, Corosso uh, playing as the Seleucids. His Heavy Archers getting 175 kills. His Syrian heavy archers here again, 818 kills. Uh, his thorax, 120, 222 for this one, 148. But yeah, a lot still struggled. Then Mr. Rock playing as Arverni, um, getting 223 kills with his Oswan here, all getting triple figures. Another one getting 203 kills there. Archers, 149, 156. 
uh, his Celtic Warriors, which he really spammed out 156 kills, 189, uh, 124 kills. And it, um, yeah, looks like his Levy Freeman kind of sucked. And then uh, Carthage here, played by PP, uh, getting 146 kills with his Cretan Archers. His Ballista actually got 142 kills, which isn't too bad. His Libyan Infantry, 155 kills. 139 with the Libyan Infantry there as well. And then his Samonites getting 153, 127 kills. And we have Major Disaster playing as the uh, attacking Seleucids, getting 245 kills with his Agema Cav, did very well. Uh, his Persian Light Archers getting 161 kills, 116. Actually outscored the Syrians. Uh, Royal Peltas, 239 kills, 112 with another one there. And then his Thorax also kind of struggled, only getting 114 kills. Uh, and his Study of Spears getting 128 kills there. Then we have Dark uh, Navy Blue playing as Rome. Uh, 170 kills with one of his Syrian archers here. 178 kills with the Baleic Slingers. Uh, Evercardi Cohort, 225 kills, 210 with another one there. 181, 196, 220. Some incredible kills. His Praetorian's only getting 150 kills, pretty much. And his Astarte getting 147, 124. But there you go, guys. That is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did enjoy and want to see more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.